Betting for me started like three years ago and uh, it all boils down on me wanting to support my team and my teams are Chelsea and for the World Cup I support France and I've actually staked my money on France winning the World Cup. A friend of mine introduced me to the betting business. So he called me, said, come and invest in this. I told him, I don't know anything about this. He said, no, no, it's just normal the way we play, then we get our commission every Monday. So I said, okay. So I told my father, and my father said, okay, let's give it a try. So we did. So from first shop, I'm on my eighth shop. The economic situation in Africa, but delimiting it to Nigeria, is not favorable. So people now see the aspect of football betting as an avenue to make quick money. Corinna <laughs> There is a significant growth in terms of the industry. And how do we measure that? We measure it in terms of the revenue contribution towards us. Their revenue contribution is measured by gross gambling revenue, which is money stacked, less money pay out. Um, for instance, it, it has increased by 50% from where it was before the lockdown. Uh, in terms of people that are coming forward and say they are addicted to gambling, we are also seeing the numbers increasing and people when they are asked to describe the mode that is mostly, you know, interest, they are mostly interested in, they cite sports betting. It's for people who can't come. come okay. yeah, so that's why I sent you that link because that's what you need to do. Okay. Yeah.